So what's different between the Style 1 Big Ben and the Style 1A Big Ben, both of which are by West Clocks? Well, let's open them up and find out. In the last video, we already addressed the outside of them, whereas in this video, we're going to look at the inside. Now this one's made in Canada, uh, so a different factory, but I think they pretty much made them to the same specification as the American ones, although they didn't put patent dates on them for some reason. So you can see the first thing at the back is the bell, and I think the one is slightly lower pitched, I don't know if that's a normal thing to happen, but this one is. I'm just going to unscrew these. I need to find a replacement winder for this because this tiny little stub thing that someone's made it doesn't look original at all. I don't know what that's off. I think someone made it out of a screw. Is um definitely painful for the fingers. Also, we're missing the alarm knob, which just unscrews, and I'll probably find a replacement. But you can see the time knob just fell off like that. It must have been loosened over time, unless they weren't put on as tight as the one A's. Because this one, I can put a lot of force behind in it before it will come off. Just to stop confusion, I'll put everything from this on the right, and everything from the one on the left. You don't need to take the knobs off to get the bell off, but um, you may as well, because this one's so weak. So yeah, you can see the Style 1 has a bell held on by two screws. Uh, I, it's not that unstable, so I don't know why they chose three for the later one. Maybe there were instances of them becoming loose. Or something. Oops. Ooh, ignore that noise. That was horrible. And I will need to perform a service, of course, on this. Which I will definitely make a series of. When I say serv service, I don't mean rebushing and stuff. I just mean cleaning the movement, which is what I usually do. So, let's get the bell off the other one. Probably zoom out a bit actually. I'll have to move the camera back. <sighs> camera. Are we there yet? There we go. Yeah, as I was saying, I might swap one of these screws over. Because I think the style one is the more worth having out of these two. Although the one A is a better clock probably, because it's an improvement of it. Style one being a more collectible one, and this example having a yellow dial, which is definitely not desirable, um, means I'll probably use parts of this, not the movement, but parts of the uh, case, like screws and stuff, to put on this. So, what can we see now? The inner case back. That's what this is. And differences wise. Uh, of course you've got the two screw holes instead of three. Or rather, I should be comparing this one to this one. You've got the three screw holes instead of two. Um, the legs slightly differently shaped, although um, some of the 1As have the pointy leg as well. The regulator slot is narrower. Uh, that's quite interesting. But otherwise, they're very similar. And of course you can see, instead of the movement being mounted to the front of the inner shell which they had in the style ones uh, the one a's had the movement mounted to the back of the inner shell which um, i think it proved dust proofing because you can see there's nothing in the way of dust proofing here at all whereas this you've actually got um, dust proofing around the knobs dust proofing in the regulator and um the bells, are they the same? Yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't be, to be honest. They're basically the same, apart from the holes. Anything else worth mentioning? Yeah, the um, alarm setting knobs and levers. You can see on the Style 1, they are mounted to the top of the inner shell with some rivets, very securely mounted, whereas on this one they are, I don't know how they're held in, I know, I think they're sort of stuck 
behind here and screwed upwards. Find out later. It's been a while since I looked inside one. So the next step to opening this up for the style 1A, if you loosen those screws a bit, you can see you unscrew it from the back and you don't need to unscrew them all the way. Like that. You can just twist it and pull it out. Like that. And you've got the movement mounted to the back of the inner case with four nuts. Now if you take a look at this, style one, you get to the movement, not through the back, but through these three screws at the front. They're quite long screws actually, so I'll probably get back to you in a moment. There we go. And then we can just pull the front of the clock off like that. And we'll talk about that later. This is called the matting ring. Oops, let me pause. That's apparently called the matting ring. I probably called it the bezel in the past, but it's not the bezel. The bezel's the front. This is the ring that spaces out between the dial and the glass. So put that over there. You can see you've got the dial here um, on the front of the clock. And it's nicely protected and it's all inside this inner shell. This alone could be an interesting clock, even though it looks pretty weird. And you can see that it'll all come out. So, I'll talk about the movement in a second. Now, as these fronts go, this is the one. It's got those three um, holes in the bezel and you can see the legs and the ring on the top are riveted on and um, they changed that to being screwable on for the 1A I don't know why they changed it to be honest um, maybe they were easier to replace if they fell off or something I don't know maybe they were easier to re uh, assemble but yeah, you can see you've also got this ring inside this metal ring which is basically the equivalent of this ring at the front but instead it's mounted to the inside and the legs being screwed in help keep it in there so yeah maybe um, having the legs unscrewable makes the glass more easy to remove but I don't know now you've got these levers which are sort of held in sandwiched between these layers of metal um, and they operate the alarm controls by moving stuff whereas the one you've got them riveted to the actual thing I think this is a slightly better system to be honest I think I prefer although the 1A is probably more uh, higher quality and well, not necessarily higher quality but better design in terms of clock manufacturing and dust proofing and stuff the style 1 is uh, feels much more solid. Now this is the ones movement. So I'll put it there. And the one A. I'll have to undo these uh, these nuts. So I'll just do that now. So that's then removed, and the real one A's um, should actually have these screwable uh, little nut caps on them. But this one uh, was in pieces when I got it, so um, I had to sort of find my own way of fastening that together because they didn't, didn't include them in the box, which is a bit of a bit of an annoying thing. But here we've got side by side, basically the same movement. Um, I'll just move this dust proofing thing. But you might notice that similar to when I did the well time and compared it to a 66. Um, you've got here on the style one the mounting nuts for the uh, front plate, which is the one that comes off, are here, 
Whereas on the uh, 1A, they made the removal plate the back plate. Now, I'm going to say the 1A's movement will probably be nicer to work on um, because the front plate looks much uh, more annoying to remove. However, I'll have to find that out myself when it comes to servicing it, which will be a series soon. Both springs are good, but I will give this a service because it's oily. And as far as date stamps go, this 1A has a date stamp of two. Um, a bit dark to see how this time looks like. 2.28.27. So this is a very late one, 1927. Well, not a very late one, but very late for this um, dial, because I think that's when they're about to change it to the uh, X with a, a little uh, thing on the top of it. And the style 1, which has the date stamp in the same place, I don't think they all do, is 3.25.15. 1915. So there we go. Uh, I'm not going to remove the dial right now. I'll do that when it comes to servicing it, but the front of the movement is the same as well, I assume. Uh, so yeah, apart from being held in by the front. That's that. Now it would be really interesting to find um, a big bend from before 1913 or before late 1912 when it had the old style movement, which is basically the same, but um, it had non-removable um, springs, bridges, um, and it had an X uh, shaped plate instead of a um, I don't know what it is, rectangle with a bit in it. So yeah, I don't think I'll ever find one in this country, but if I do, that'll be really something to look at, because I'd love to find one of them. But uh, yeah, this is definitely going to um, fulfil my get a style 1 uh, thing anyway. I've actually got a style 1, which I was never expecting to actually have. 1A's are, you know, unusual enough. But yeah, here we have it. The first ever model of Big Ben, according to clockhistory.com. And let's have another look at these inner cases. There we go. Not much else to see there. And I'm just going to reassemble this, but I'm going to put the 1A's glass in it because the dial is really yellowed and I think the style 1 is going to benefit more from having a uh, glass than the 1A is. But as you can see, this glass has been cut by someone out of another piece of glass. It does fit, but it's not very nice. So I'll have to probably find two donors of glass for this. So I'll just reassemble this, and I'll also put one of the nicer screws on the back. So there we have it. A style one Big Ben with glass, two good winders, and two good screws. I need to find a replacement knob for that. I'm not going to strip it, my uh, 1A of its knobs because it's still actually a good working clock. But cosmetic wise, this is the more favourable one to have because of the dial. Unfortunately, this brass ring is not doing too good things to the text at the bottom, which is a very important thing to have. So I'm going to have to find a way of stabilising that. The, the letters are still there, but just rumpled up a bit. And if I can find a way of getting glue right in that, in that bit with maybe a little stick, I will do that. But that will be in the servicing series. So for now we've got a very cool, actually style 1, Big Ben. Made in LaSalle, Illinois, USA by West Clocks. A73564. Look at that. Well... That's definitely a thing to have, in my opinion. 